We are live. Hello, whether you are here on the live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to do a flip through of Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 3. I have Level 2 and Level 4 on my channel. And I just wanted to, now that my kiddo is getting close to this level, fill in a gap there. And we just went flip through Level 1 just a moment ago. And that one had a spiral binding. But at level two, they go in. So level K and level one have spiral binding. From level two up, they have more of this lay flat binding. So let's go through the course book and then we'll check out the box. This level comes with its own personal whiteboard, which level one also happened to as well. So that was kind of fun that that lined up that way. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning. And on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share it works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. Um, this is where it talks about the binding. It works best when broken in. So when, when you first get it, kind of like open it up, push it down kind of thing to help it get broken in so that it lays a little flatter for you. Okay, table of contents. This unit or this course has 120 lessons. And we'll cover how those course assessments go, or the assessments go. This has four units. And here's some reference pages. That's the course. Frequently asked questions. Multiplication chart. Mastery chart. So you can keep track of um, what ones they have mastered. All right. I have listed out. In the description box, each of the new concepts taught in the units for you. This unit covers lessons one through 30. And I believe in this, yes, in this course, you also get to cover geography in it, which is really cool. That also happens in level four, which is fine. In level two, they're covering cultures. But not, um, this focus is more like on... No, it's a little bit different. This is a little more advanced on more than just a different culture that has stories and things that talk about it. This talks about the geography of the course of the place as well, which I have enjoyed with my kiddo in level four. This top little box here in each of the lessons Oh, it's a review activity is kind of like a review of concepts that um, either they're working on or should know at this point that are more like mental math um, type things. And so those are things that you can either review with your kiddo if they need it or, or you know, periodically as it comes around. It's more of that mental math type thing. And with the review activities, I find even in this, let's see, for level three, we did the older... I had a kiddo do the older version of level three and much shorter lessons here for sure. The review activities. And I, with some kiddos, will modify the review based on their mastery. With all my kiddos ready, based, but really based on their mastery, I will have them pick and choose. Like that one is a, that's not a good example. Those all kind of need to be done together. But say here with the lesson practice. No, nope. just kidding. Maybe not. It's not the case so much in this level, maybe. But we've done we've got one in level K, one in level two, and one in level four. And if we're in a review, occasionally my kid on level four already understands the concepts being taught because of the different types of curriculum they've gone through to find the right one. So sometimes we'll, um, I will reduce the lesson practice based on their mastery. So like if I know they have a pretty good handle, I'll say like pick a, pick a half to do or something like that. And that can also be the same case with these review act and activities. Like I'll say pick two of these or something for them to do to just, you know, get them through their work a little quicker and on to playing or free time as soon as possible, right? I'm here to learn and there's a lot of learning through play and projects and whatever it is that they like to do, reading. I don't know if I mentioned this, but if at any point you need me to speed it up a little bit or slow it down, there is a settings box in the right settings button 
in the right hand corner that you can click on and adjust my speed to fit your needs. Oh, I remember doing those in school. They were my favorite. My um, older kiddo that's in level four did not get to do that kind of chart fill in in I think the two or three pieces of math that we did with them. So um, curriculums that we went through to try and find the right one. But this kiddo will get to. Now for level three, I do not have a language arts video because we, right now it's the, um, oh, I will come back to that. Unit assessments. They, for lesson 29 here, they will do all of the purple section, the top half, or the side half, the purple section for that lesson. And then as you grade it, if following the instructions have, if they've missed enough, you'll check the additional practice needed. And then for lesson 30, they'll go through and do any of those checked sections. And then if they still need um, more practice from there, that's your cue to go back and maybe do that lesson again. Unit two, 51 through 60. Okay. So what I was saying about language arts for level three, at least, um, I have a kiddo who did the current level that is available and they have just barely announced closeout sale for that one because they are releasing a new version of level three this summer. So I will do a video of that one when it comes out this summer. I'll get it ordered and here do a video of level three language arts. Then if you are looking to get that one, if you're look, wanting to look at level three for this coming school year. So that is that one. And handwriting, I don't think I have very many handwriting flip throughs on my channel. But whatever I have for level three, I will link in the description box for you. And then the whole math playlist will be linked so you can look at the different levels. Whatever ones you may be interested in. I do have all of the new language arts, like with the new reading program, program that were recently released. I do have videos of all of those. I think I have I have the new preschool one, the new, I think they call it kindergarten prep now, and K through two, which were the new reading program. So all of those are on my channel and I will find the link for that playlist if you're interested and put it down in the description box for you. And you can check those out in the number three when it comes out, you go through that. Now this binding is, looks like it's easy to tear. If you have a kiddo that's, this is just overwhelming and you want to tear out some pages for them, you could do that. I don't know that I would chop, like go to Staples or whatever and chop the whole thing and then hole punch it because it goes right to the line. But you could like put it in folders. The hard part with that for this double-sided is that sometimes it doesn't always end here. Sometimes it ends on another side and you have to be like, okay, don't do that next lesson. But at this age, they can probably handle stopping here and then bringing you this back, especially if you, you know, go through and grade it, you can pull it out and put it into the next folder for the next day. If that's your style. We're not sure how we feel about this binding yet. I have this binding for two of my kiddos in both Let's see, math and language arts, I believe we have. Do we have this binding in language arts? I don't remember, I know, but I know that both of my older kiddos have this binding in math and we're just not 
Not sure if we like it better than the spiral or not. The binding must be hard, 61 through 90 for unit three, to be able to find a long lasting binding that everyone's happy with because you know, everybody has their own preferences. So I can see why science units used to be loosely for us to figure out on our own. I am super grateful though that they have combined them all into spiral binding with the student journals. In fact, level three, you're probably interested in science units. I have a playlist that I will link in the description box if I don't have it already, that has all of the science units, the new and updated science units that The Good and Beautiful has released with the student journals. I have looked through all of them up to this point. Tonight I covered the updated birds and the updated ecosystems. So I will link that in the description if you're looking for that to go with your level three math. Oh, I wonder if we have tangrams in that box. Peg pattern. Remember those peg boards when we kid? Well, when I was a kid, at least I had those peg boards. You'd get the rubber band, make those shapes. Those are fun. If you remember those and you got to use them in school, leave me a comment down below to let me know. Or were you homeschooled your whole life too? Is your, is your, is your family a multi generation homeschooling family? Okay, unit four, 91 to 120. We're getting into Egypt. I didn't really consider, we'll cover, we'll come back to it. Just a moment, let's finish this and hopefully I'll remember to go see where we visit in each unit. Roman numerals, nice. Coordinates. Three D shapes. Oh, maybe those will be in the box too. like a lot okay course assessment it's the same as the unit assessments and it will give you instructions on you know what the results mean for your child on if they're ready to move on or not oh this one has an appendix multiplication sand frames oh these are like punch out like card stocky thicker this glossy not glossy. Interesting. Let's see how can I show you these without punching them out on accident because they want to come out. Oh, okay, vegetable 10 frames. Oh, we did that in the previous version, but not I don't think we did that with level three in the previous version. And clocks. All right, so 
hopefully real quick let's see where each where we're going where our child is going in this one mountain climbers around asia so this is going to be asia it looks like they're studying yep asia okay now we can come over here to the assessment i like how the colors are there to make it a little easier for us here we are going fishing but where I live near Lake Victoria in Uganda. Uganda, Uganda, Uganda. I'm not sure which one. But this is the African continent, maybe. Maybe we'll cover a few different countries in Africa. I don't know. And then here we have, let's see, family in a city of New Delhi. Raj, so maybe we have, I'm not sure if this is going to be one specific country or maybe it is India. That's cool. Yeah, looks like we're covering India there. Fun. And then unit four was Egypt. All right, let's check out the math box. Okay, so I'm, little, I'm pretty sure that the level two box is about the size. The level one box is big and the level key box is tiny. And this is the last level with a math box. From here, they move into the lesson videos, which my kiddo doing level four loves. So they're not going to be sad about that. Okay. We've got this feels like whiteboardy. I mean, probably because it looks like we're writing on it and a rain mat and then a little year calendar and maybe we'll be checking temperature that's interesting okay oh yep little tangrams and these are smaller than the ones in level one level one has tangrams too and they are magnetic so you have your little magnetic tangrams to go with your little whiteboard so not sticking great through the back but that's so cute they're still wood Colorful. We have a measuring tape and some meeple or pawns. And you have wooden dice that look like measurements and a 10 sided dice and a six sided dice. So that's what comes in the level three box. Looks like it's going to be fun. Level one had tangrams and shapes, but they were much bigger than this, so they're um, increase, increasing the complexity of dexterity, maybe? That's going to be fun. All right. Well, if you have any... Oh, hang on. I need to figure out how to get that down a little more. If you have any questions, they're live or on the replay. Super happy to answer them. I love being able to help you on your journey. Oh, we've got... We, Comment. Let's see. Thank you for showing us all of the cool and newest curriculum from Good and Beautiful. You are so welcome. I love being able to share what's new. I like being able to share it live so that it can be quicker to you than having to take the time to edit it. Um, but we, I um, love sharing it with you guys. So I'm glad that you appreciate it. I just did tonight. We covered the updated birds, the updated ecosystems. I also did math level one. And this is math level three, and I will be hopping back on in a few to do math level five. I will have all those links in the description box for you, so if you want to check them out. And I hope that this was helpful for you, and I will catch you in a few. Bye, curious. Let's see. Kukisa Rod? Kukisa Rod. Kukisa Rod. Not always great with reading the names all switched together, but I'm so grateful that you're here and I will see you in a few with level five.